All right, let's talk about Brock Purdy of the San Francisco 49ers who had a, you know, a very good statistical day. I think a good day in general. It was not all perfect. I think there were some mistakes here as well. But let's talk about Purdy. You know, I feel like last year I was making a film study every week with Brock Purdy. This is only my second one of this season. But let's talk about uh, the good and the bad here, starting off with the play you see on your screen. This is the good play and, and something that Purdy has done a lot of. Uh, in San Francisco, one of his real selling points, I think, for the 49ers. So the way this play is designed to work, it's a third and four, and they have a concept that can work. Kind of these slant routes going to, over the middle are routes that can often work against this coverage with the deep shot being usually one to just kind of help set things up. However, when Purdy takes the snap, he looks over in that direction and, you know, Got to give New England credit. Uh, they're defending this very well. There is not a ton of separation right here. But this is what Purdy does a great job of is, you know, everyone kind of says he's a game manager. But in a lot of ways, his value really comes when there isn't a game to manage. Because, you know, essentially, a lot of quarterbacks could do well in a Shanahan scheme, right? I think the reason why we've seen more success with Purdy than we did with someone like Garoppolo is watch what Purdy's going to do on this, again, key third down and four. He's going to be able to get outside the pocket, and even though there's a New England player rushing in, he's able to get past him and get past the first down marker and, you know, pick up a first down, you get the conversion. Purdy does a really good job uh, when a play breaks down of still turning bad plays into good ones. He also doesn't often turn, like, bad situations into worse situations. He's very good when a play breaks down. So, obviously, we'll get into the, uh, you know, running the Shan Shanahan scheme well, which he does. Like this one, for example, it's a, you know, kind of a classic Shanahan play. You have a zone coverage concept. Jawan Jennings running this route over the middle. Purdy is going to take the snap. And you see, I mean, again, they run these concepts so well. Everyone runs their setup routes so well. You have a window. You know, to give Purdy some credit, this isn't the biggest window we've ever seen, right? I mean, this isn't the biggest window we've seen in this game. You certainly saw some huge windows, uh, you know, and you see those with the 49ers. This is not one of them. He still has to time this well. He has to throw this accurately. But that's going to be exactly what he does. So again, these are these are good plays. These are not the types of plays anyone could make. This is a difficult play to make, but he's finding a way to make it happen. So this is, in my opinion, this is very good stuff from Purdy. This play was another really good one where it's going to be a zone blitz right here for the uh, for, for the New England Patriots. And so, again, you have a deep shot right here. It's going to be Debo Samuel. And watch what happens on this play. Purdy takes a snap. He's going to look in that direction. Samuel runs this route well. And New England, to be honest, doesn't pick this up particularly well. But because of this, you have Debo Samuel wide open down the field. What's the big knock on Purdy, right? There's a lot of uh, very good stuff with Purdy, but kind of the one thing people tend to say is he doesn't have the, you know, doesn't have a cannon for an arm, which I think is certainly at times true. I mean, he doesn't have a huge arm, but watch how well thrown this ball still is. It's really accurate and he gets the ball down the field quick enough that, again, he doesn't need to be Josh Allen to make a throw like this work. He just doesn't. He is someone who can, you know, uh, throw this accurately. And when it comes to deep shots, it's a lot less about being Josh Allen and having the cannon for an arm and more about being able to accurately throw down the field. And that is exactly what we saw Brock Purdy do on that one. This play was one of his highlights, even though this actually got called back due to a penalty, but it's going to be a man coverage concept that the New England Patriots are in right here. Watch how when this play begins, you're going to see first Purdy looks down the field, doesn't love what he sees, and there's a very quick pressure. Purdy's in trouble. Watch him first sidestep that pressure and gets outside the pocket. So, okay, so far, so good. The issue, another New England player is running over trying to take Purdy's head off. So what does he do here? Watch this little pump fake, which causes that defender to move out of position. And at this point, Kyle Juszczyk is open down the field. A different Patriot player has kind of given up his assignment, Johnny Tavai, who, got to say, you got to stay on. You, know, you have help down the field. You got to stay on uh, your, you know, the receiver you're supposed to cover. But watch Purdy wall off balance, get this throw over to Juszczyk, which would have been a touchdown. Again, unfortunately, there was a penalty that uh, called it back, but that was a really good play. So, Again, this is part of the value of Brock Purdy, is he can make these types of plays, and pretty consistently, too. This play was a fun one, where it's going to be a man coverage concept. It's actually a uh, sort of an all-out blitz here on a third down and 10 by the New England Patriots. You have George Kittle running a one-on-one -on -one matchup. So, hey, Kittle in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Sure, uh, totally makes sense to fire it in this direction. 
But watch what happens. This is a weird situation. So Purdy throws it down here. And, you know, on paper, there is a window. Ideally, you'd want to get this ball there quickly for this to work. Purdy does not throw it here quickly. In fact, he puts a ton of air under this. I'm not exactly sure why. This is like a hot air balloon throw. But watch how even though it hangs up in the air for forever, Kittle somehow still manages to make the grab, keeps his feet in bounds, and gets a touchdown on that. Hey, Sometimes it helps to not necessarily throw it, make the best throw, but throw it to the right guy. Really good stuff here by George Kittle to, to make that work. So, yeah, that was more fun than anything. Definitely a great play by Kittle. Um, you know, I said there were some negatives. Most of this I thought was positive from Purdy. There was some negatives. This interception here wasn't great. Because, again, keep in mind the situation. You're in field goal range up 14. So I know it's the Patriots, and you're not really thinking they're going to do much offensively. But as long as you can just get three points on the board here, it's essentially over. It's a three-score game, right? You're at the point where you can start thinking about scores. Not to say that you shouldn't try to score a touchdown, but just don't do anything stupid. It's a cover two man that the New England Patriots are in. You see this route on the screen that is going to be a deep route eventually going to, from the offense's right to the offense's left. And so because of this, if you're to, you know, if you're Purdy, once you read it, this is a cover two man, what you have to do is say, okay, that safety is the main guy to watch. If the safety stays back, you can't make this throw. If he moves forward, you can. Purdy takes the snap, and you see that when he eventually looks down the field, I think he just didn't see the safety right here. Because it's not even really that open outside of the safety, but with a safety here, I mean, there would have been a window for this throw to be made for sure. Purdy just misreads the coverage, didn't realize the safety was there. Because of this, this gets intercepted. And again, it gave the Patriots a chance, a chance they you know, did not uh, capitalize on. But still, it gave the Patriots a chance that you didn't have to give them. So not an ideal play there by Purdy. But again, uh, the good's more than outweighed the bad here. This is a very good performance, I thought, from Brock Purdy, continuing to do a lot of really nice stuff for the uh, 49ers. He's not just a game manager. He's making plenty of plays, making stuff happen once a play breaks down. All of that good stuff, which is certainly good to see if you're a 49ers fan. And I guess not so good to see if you're, uh, you know, Seahawks or, you know, I guess, I mean, uh, forget about just teams in their division, teams in their conference uh, fan. Maybe not so good to see uh, if you're an NFC fan. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always... Thanks for watching.